Hello my friends, I am here in Yellowstone National Park and I'm going to share a lick with you. Alright, so I had the opportunity to work with some great musicians and lately I've been working in an orchestra pit and I'm sitting behind a violin player and a cello player and they are absolutely phenomenal players. Those ladies shred. Now guitar players think they shred, but these guys really shred. And so I've been thinking, how do they get so good? So I've made it a point over the last few years to study the literature the violin players do. So I've been transcribing pieces uh, for violin for guitar, and I um, transcribed box partita number five. And I found this neat little arpeggio whenever I did that. So I just put this in a blues setting, but it's actually a Bach lick. And so um, this is over an E7 chord. It's an E7 arpeggio. Now the thing I find interesting on this is whenever I usually do arpeggios, most players I know, they like to start at the bottom or at the top. But this starts actually on the seventh and goes up and then back down. Uh, and I find a lot of classical artists do that. So what I'm doing, uh, I'm thinking E right here as my root. So I start on the seventh of the E seventh chord, which is D. So second string, third fret, fourth finger on the first string, seventh fret, first finger on the first string, fourth fret, then I go to the second string on the E on the second string, which is second string, fifth fret. I go to D, second, third string, seventh fret, then B. This is a G sharp on the fourth string, fourth string, sixth fret. Then I land on my root of the E chord, fifth string, seventh fret. And then I resolve it, because E7 is generally gonna resolve to A. So I land on the A on the 4th string 7th fret. Again, very slow. Faster. Um, I'm swinging it right now to give it that blues feel. It works well in jazz if you swing it. In rock, I do it straight. Okay, how I practice it, because I practice it in different positions so I can do it over any chord. And so I start on this guitar, like for a C7. So there is a C right there on the second string 13th fret. I move it down two frets. That's my starting note. That's the seventh of the C chord, a B flat. And then I go down. Next I'd go to B. If you're a jazz player, you might want to go to B flat. Then I'd go to A. Here's my A. I move down. G. And so on until I get down. Usually about the E is where I stop. Okay, this is a great lick. I hope you have lots of fun with it. Um, and I'm glad I'm where I am instead of where you are, but still have a great day. Thank you. <laughs>